So something I've always been interested in for a very long time is video. And over the years, I've found various YouTubers. One specifically um, is a Cathode Ray dude. He does a lot of videos on professional video equipment and odd video cameras and stuff over the years. And he kind of inspired me to purchase my own professional video cameras. Um, a lot like he said, these cameras are useless. You will not be able to do anything with them short of making videos in standard definition, 4x3, and in some cases, 16x9 widescreen. Um, you can get these anywhere between 50 to three to four hundred dollars depending on what you get this right here is a JVC GY DV 500 I believe let me just make sure yeah DV GY DV 500 I'm sorry um, I'm not exactly sure when this camera came out I believe it was sometime in the early 2000s it's uh, standard definition it uses a miniature DV tape which unfortunately I do not have the whole point of me making this video is uh, showing my not so elegant solution to how I record video from it, which you can probably already see from the video. Um, another thing is, for those of you who have done any sort of video, especially with professional equipment of any kind, know that gold mount and V-mount batteries and chargers, especially decent quality ones, are not cheap. And me being a cheap ass and not wanting to spend some, uh, spend a bunch of money, I uh, said, well, these cameras run off 12 volts. So, well, maybe there's another solution for this. So I hopped on Amazon and searched up 12-volt portable power supplies and browsed through tons of sludge and various things that claim to be 12 volts. And, you know, and obviously I went through the spec sheet on these cameras to see... You know how much power consumption uh, consumption they use, and this one, I think, was right around 20 or 25 watts at 12 volts. So I found one that was marketed to be a portable power supply for CPAP machines. You know, for like camping and emergency power supplies, like if your power ever goes out. And the reviews on it were really great. People were claiming that their CPAP machine was getting several days and several hours before the battery pack was running out of juice and needing to be charged. So I was like, okay, I'll get this one. So I got it and the solution works perfectly. Um, it's not without its faults. Um, this is the battery pack in question. Don't mind the wiring. I do plan on fixing this up, up at some point. Um, it does have multiple voltages if it'll focus here. I don't know. There we go. Um, I run this one at 15 point or 16.5 volts because for some reason, if I run it at the 12 volt, no matter what, no matter like how much this battery pack is charged, it will constantly throw a low uh, low battery warning on the camera. So I run it at 16.5 uh, volts. The camera is never overheated um, made any burning smells thrown any warnings or anything like that um i cannot vouch for the uh total battery life because this is something i just came up with but the battery pack itself was around 150 dollars i think on amazon prime it has really good reviews it comes with a USB-C charger um it does have wireless charging for your phone and other wireless charging devices it has a 12 volt um, like socket for like things you'd plug into your car. The 12 volt output, which is also can be used for charging laptops and other devices. It has a multitude of adapters, USB-C, and then other. Um, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but um, other USB-C of things, which I'm not quite sure of the exact voltage they'll put out, but I'm 100% positive or close to it. It will fast charge most cell phones and other mobile devices that are capable of fast charging. Um, it is very heavy and it is very big. Um, this is the camera and this is how big it is compared to the camera. So it's not the best thing to do. What I have done though is I don't have it handy at the moment 
but it does come with a case that does have a belt loop on it and I attach it to my belt and kind of carry it to the side which is explains this wire which reminder is not permanent I plan on putting a heavier duty wire a heavier duty wire and instead of running it to the battery I'm planning on running it to the DC input on here because I feel like it might work better might be more regulated in some cases maybe maybe not if anybody wants to correct me let me know but it works um the only caveat is it will not keep any date or anything in the camera um and to get it to turn on you have to hit the button hold this till it blinks do this to your 16.5 and then you have to kind of turn it off and on a couple times i'm not sure why it does that but it does work eventually um i'm not sure how well you're going to see that probably not very well cuz my camera won't focus on it but um anyways it works shows the battery level everything like that um now my solution for recording is not the most elegant thing this is not a purpose made VTR it's not meant for this um I definitely recommend looking for a better solution like a Sony DSR50 I think it is that uh Cathode Ray Dude used it's purposely built for this um, whereas this device is not this is actually a external um, converter device that you'd plug into like component video cameras and stuff like that to capture videos that you've already recorded with it now it works the the quality is not the greatest but then again the camera is not going to be the greatest because it is probably over 20 years old um go ahead and just turn it on here i was going to use a um capture device for my phone but i was having a hell of a time finding one online that would actually work with my phone that was usb-c that wasn't some kind of complete sludge um, not that this is any better, but, you know, it does work. Um, but yeah, I don't know how well you're going to see it because it's pretty dark in my house. Let me see here if I can, yeah, that, that didn't help at all. Um, let's see if I can, let's see, because, yeah, like I said, it's pretty dark in my house right now. So, but anyways, you get the point. You can kind of, kind of see, and it does record. You just, you know, it's got like... You know, you got a USB, your HDMI out, um, come on, focus, your DC in, and then your micro SD, and then S video in, if your camera has an S video in, it probably might be a little bit higher quality, but, you know, um, as far as record time goes on the battery alone, I think it does about an hour-ish, I haven't tried that again, but I plan on getting another USB-C cable to run to the battery pack, and just kind of run them side to side um in this case right here once again not an elegant solution i have the video output of the camera which in this case is test out it works just as good as the uh, monitor out actually in this case better um with a cheap component cable that it came with and it works fine i will upload some test footage here in a little bit um, it will record audio too. Um, unfortunately, the microphone I had hooked up to this camera was not mounted, so it was causing a lot of feedback. But it does work. Um, yeah, you can tell I don't have a script for this, and I plan did not want to edit this, so this is just a one-shot wonder in this regards. But um, if you want to get into vintage video or older professional video cameras, there are plenty of them on eBay and. Like I said, they're anywhere between a hundred to three, four hundred dollars and up. Um, this one right here is uh, was sold w with the tape deck listed as not working, which apparently can easily be fixed. I plan on fixing it at some point, just so I can have that option. Um, I think I paid like 
a hundred and ten hundred and twenty dollars including shipping um it came with a different lens this is just off of my panasonic ajd 400p which i won that for a still like 40 bucks but it um not only does the tape deck not work on it but it has some kind of issue with the output and having some weird artifacting and it's almost like it's it almost looks like an old crt that's been magnetized except for it's new enough to have CCDs instead of um, a tube for the sensor. But, you know, if you want to spend the money and get gold mount and V-mount batteries and the chargers and all that, or you already have them, it's fine. It works. Um, but this right here will work for a multitude of things. You know, you can use it to charge your phone, external recorders, um... The camera, as far as how long it goes, I'll have to make another video on that because I plan on taking it to an anime convention next week to do some just bullshit, you know, vintage-like videos or whatever, you know, and it's kind of fucking around. Um, cameras I recommend getting only because they're my personal favorites is obviously the JVC GYDV500, uh, the 550U if you can find it because it's at least 16 by 9 Um... Any of the Panasonic AJ series, the AJ D four hundred P, the D six tens, the D nine fifties, I think they are. Um, if you really don't want to have to have a VTR of any kind or deal with tape, look for any of the Panasonic P two series. Uh, CRD did a video on those. It's a really weird flash format. Um, of course, they're all standard format. You can find early. HD versions of those cameras, but they are going to run you upwards to, I think the cheapest I've seen was like seven, eight hundred dollars, and that was without a lens. You know, ones with lenses were you know anywhere between like eleven hundred to fifteen hundred dollars. Um, they're early HD, so they're ten eighty i and not ten eighty p. I'm not going to go into what the difference is, but there is a difference. Um, the older standard definition. P2 formats, the AJ, I think it's the SPX 800s, which is one of the ones that CRD did. Um, there's not a whole lot of those on eBay that I've seen that are in working condition. A lot of the ones on there are four parts are not working. So just do like I did and a lot of other people do is just have safe searches for them. Um, there's other cameras too that I would you know it's really just about personal preference and what you can find and what you can afford and what the condition is obviously if you find one that has a busted you know VTR on it there's plenty of solutions that you can find that will obviously you know make it to where you can get external video like my solutions not probably the best it works and it also adds an external monitor if you want it but it's, once again, not the greatest thing. The quality is probably not going to be the best because it is component. And this camera does not have S-Video out. Um, but yeah, um, it's not elegant, but it works. And like they always say, if it looks stupid but it works, then it's not stupid. But yeah, I'll be uploading some test footage here shortly of how it looks. Uh, like I said, the audio quality is going to be kind of shit because... The microphone was just kind of dangling to the side, and I think it was interfering with the uh, with the uh, the onboard monitor speaker here, so it was giving a lot of feedback. But and there was also some weird glitching too from the uh, monitor out the monitor output of this camera, so it's going to look like it's lightning when it's not. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them. Criticism as well, if you dislike the video. And, well, dislike the video if you like it. Feel free to give a thumbs up and a subscribe. Um, I do plan on doing more of these videos in the future once I get a little more set up and get more uh, organized and hopefully to, you know, do more of these videos in the future like CRD does. Have a good one.